Hello YouTube, Pinchy08 here with the continuation of Project JAX, Jacksonville International Airport. And we are now looking at a one and only airline plane that I do need for this airport. That would be my very, very first ever Frontier A320 in what appears to be called um, uh, Griswold the Bear made by uh, Velocity Models. And this is definitely a very, very hard to find model because... We all know Velocity doesn't produce as much as Aero Classics does because I believe they did merge back into Aero Classics. And I believe Gemini Jets did a mold like this long ago too, but that one's even more hard to find than this one. So I'm going to have to deal with this for now. And if I ever do come across the Gemini one, I might put this back on eBay for selling or so. But in the meantime, we're going to enjoy this very much because I do need Frontier Airlines. And I don't mean to spoil you, but I know how the Frontier operations go out of Jacksonville very, very well. And that is the only destination that they fly to for now is Philadelphia. But when seasonal routes come, eventually they're going to fly to Trenton, New Jersey. I don't know when that's going to be, but I do enjoy where it is for now. This is a regular A320 with the uh, IAE engines. And I definitely do plan from Aero Classics to sooner or later get like an A320 Neo like I do with Spirit, how I got a regular A320 and an A320 Neo, but for now we'll just enjoy what we have for now. So this is like my fourth Velocity models after the three Jet Blues they came out with the barcode, Blueberries, and Tartan. So there you have it on that. So I'm surprised that this is a see-through on my box from the discontinued Velocity models because the boxes that the Jet Blues come with are obviously not see-through. They're just pictures of what the plane would have looked like and all. And you wouldn't know what the real model looks like until you open it. And I know that's what NG Models is doing right now. So, honestly, sometimes I care less. But I do really enjoy these see-through packagings very much, though. Can't wait until I get that with my next Aero Classics models and all. So, without further ado, let's um, uh, get this baby out of the box. Just like I'm seeing other YouTubers do. So far, Airplane seems to be in one piece, so that's one thing I'm proud of. I don't have to worry about super gluing it back in. I don't even have my tube of super glue at the ready this time. Because I knew since this was a Velocity or Aero Classics mold, I knew I wouldn't have to glue the wing back like I have before on some NG models or Gemini models. I know that is what concerns me, so maybe next time if I will, I am, uh, will be ready with some more super glue. I do have one or two more planes on the way right now, and um, uh, one of them I completely forgot about would be another Delta 757-200 without the winglets, a very, very old Gemini Jets molding. And then Monday I've got another Southwest plane coming in, and I'm not going to preview them at this time. I'm just going to show you them as soon as they do come in, and then that'll be about it. But for now, all focus is on the Frontier A320 with the um, uh, Griswold the Bale, Bear tariff, tariff in, uh I don't know why I'm always about to pronounce things wrong, so... So even though this is a Aero Classics or Velocity molding, you can see the plane does not include the um, uh, communications antennas or in-flight entertainment. And why well, even bother with the in-flight entertainment since they don't have any of that stuff? I mean, with Frontier also being as cheap as Spirit is, there's like no in-flight entertainment and the tray tables are also very, very well laughable. If you've ever seen Jeb Brooks' um, uh, comparison on low-cost airlines with Allegiant, Frontier, and then Spirit, their trade tables are very, very small and, well, as he said, laughable. But, so either way, as I said with Spirit, be prepared when it comes to such a low-cost airline like this. So, yeah, this is the brand-new Frontier AMA um, uh, logo. Maybe someday I'll get an A319 with the old logo and all. And soon I can't wait to expand the Frontier fleet with A320 Neos and different creatures like that. But for now we've got the bear livery named Griswold. And here's our registration number, November 227, Foxtrot Romeo. You can see the flyfrontier.com here. 
I'm surprised it doesn't say Frontier.com on either side of the engine, so... Tiny bit of a letdown. I don't even know if that's true or not. I mean, I hardly see anything about Frontier these days. But it is a gap definitely needed to fill in as far as airline operations out of here in Jacksonville. So over here by the cockpit, you can see where it says Griswold the Bear. You've got your, um, uh, L1 entrance and exit d door. Uh, I didn't know what else to say. Got your two overwing exits. And then you've got more overwing exits here. This is your typical A320 molding. And of course, on the right side, this is where the cargo goes. So, nice molding on the cargo doors. Where the luggage goes in and out. So, yeah, pretty good. Looks very excellent. I'm glad it's in one piece. And of course, I know these are easy to fix if they have a loose wing and all. But we all know the principle. If that if this is a 1400 scale model, we shouldn't have to be gluing them back. Try my best not to um, uh, let that get to me all that much. All right, so there is a gap pretty much filled in needed. All that's left to order pretty soon will be all the rest of the planes needed for the uh, United Airlines um, uh, operations. Speaking of operations out of here in Jacksonville, we've already discussed the American Airlines operations, and I think as soon as I get that Delta plane is where we'll probably be talking about the Delta operations, and then when I get the United planes, we'll be talking about the United operations, and then little bit by little bit, the Allegiant operations and the Southwest operations, the JetBlue operations. I like to pretty much talk about operations of every airline we have here in Jacksonville, and the different kinds of planes they use. Of course, for Frontier, you know how it is. They only use A320s and A320neos. So, can't wait to get more for Frontier, but I'm not going to rush it because they're not as busy as all the other major airlines. I mean, this is just a simple low-cost airline domestically here in the United States of America. So, there you have it. My first ever Frontier um, uh, model. Pretty soon, I should be getting that other Delta plane. And then on Monday from a friend on Facebook is where I'll be getting another Southwest plane. You'll see what it looks like when it arrives. So, more to do pretty soon. Project Jax is coming along smoothly. The gaps are getting filled in for all the airline operations. So, I'd say any time in October, all operations out of my own model of Jacksonville International Airport will be just about ready to go. So... Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this model in 360 degree motion that I did with both my hands like that while my camera iPhone is sitting steadily on the tripod. I fixed the tripod leg. I had to super glue that back. So once again, thank you for watching. Until next time, this is Cameron at Pinchy08 signing and pinching out. And until next time, between now and the next time, in the words of Jeb Brooks, see you in the sky or the wild blue yonder.